this is the second part of the react app um, that i was doing um, i was trying to uh, clone amazon amazon books and specifically the amazon uh, best selling part you know i cannot clone the whole site so i chose to i chose to clone the best selling part normally for those who understand react uh, a website like this might have could have a lot of uh, web apps in it that are working together or we call them our components so this is what I was trying to crawl and uh, let me continue guys and then we'll see the final result whether I'll be able to do everything in detail as you can see here so now uh, I've added the features here in my app here this one is not available you see when you hover they do not have that feature but for me I think uh, look nice and for those who understand uh, material UI or material design 3 uh, you may notice that my corners the corners of every card look different uh, there's a bit of a uh, border radius and it also has a uh, they, they kind of look sharp and you know clear to see so these are few things that I've added for example, the hopper when you go like this, you can see there is a uh, the the uh, upscale. Okay, this is this is it. This part is the one that is making it hopper. Well, in the beginning, it, I have set it as a 1.5, and I didn't like it because it was too much. You see, with 1.5, it's, it's so so dramatic, and don't, I don't like that. Nobody want to. <laughs> This website that looked like this, so I changed it to 0 0.5, and that one look kind of neat. You see, yep, that one is, is good. You can also reduce the number if you think still this one is big, you just make the website look live, okay? So let's continue, guys. And uh, right now, I'm trying to work on this. You see, the best selling best seller editor speak all this, this, uh. This part is what I'm trying to work on. And for you to add this one, you'll have to, let me show you my code so that I can explain exactly what I am doing. So you see here, I have the book component and this book component contain a key which actually identify the book, a specific book. This ID actually stand for a specific book. And once you go here, you'll see that I'm trying to copy the books here in this so that I can you know I'm trying to copy them using this uh, it's called uh, spread it's called operator spread operator in JS or JavaScript so here you see this number I've added here as an index I have also added it here you see this part I know this this one I've added it here you see so that I can be able to reference it and uh, add details as I want. So those are uh, props. Uh, those are all my props. I have the book URL. This one stand for my uh, data book assets. This one start for the image. I'm definitely using uh, the URL. Uh, I'm not using the image locally. I can still use them if I want, but I'm just uh, getting them directly from the website where they are hosted. This one now start for the title and this one is for the other. The ID is simply to identify a specific book because I have several of them. Okay. So using these props, I'm able to reference anything, any part of the book that I want. And that's why we have the ID. Then there is the number. This one that I have just added here. So let go. guys, I just want to console.log this number so that you can see exactly what it stands for. So I do go console dot log and I log the number. Yeah, the number. So once you set this, 
once we save it and go to the app and uh, inspect should be able to see that it had logged something right now when you look you cannot see it you cannot see anything here for it to be able to for you to display it uh, I'll just come to my code and then I will go come to my code and I will go to the book and I will so uh-huh I want to add it here immediately for the author and uh, this time I will use the spam and I uh, will use class name just because I would like to state it and I will call this number call it number then we can uh, put the plus uh, the placeholder and just reference the number but once we, we do this when we add the, this directory we are not going to get the number being in recurrent we only get the one we will only get one number for you to get the number that are incremental or all of them you will have to add plus one like that so this way the number will be incremental so you save that you pass it uh, the number here and the index you you will see that now we have the number here okay this is what I was looking for it's one two three and it is incremental as you can see so is what we meant by the index and that's why we reference the number here so guys uh, as you can see here in my data uh, in this file I've just added some data here uh, those are the words that I want to appear on the top of the book and I will show you those are the words for example this one best sellers editors pick the good read choice uh, best read choice all these those are the words that's why I've added them here so that I can read them in this book and then I've used the same as you see this line I've referenced that words here as does this number just start to reference that it as an index for the number okay I've added them here as a number as words so I can just go there and edit them so if you go to my app here you will see those words can appear you have the first the second the third and the fourth and the third so you can just edit those words and have the actual words that you want to appear for example let me show you how i will do this so i'll check here the first one is best seller editor speak so let's just do the best seller go here to the data instead of first you put okay put best seller second one is editor's choice Editor's choice. Editor speak. Okay. It's editor speak. And the third one is Goodreads. Mm, Goodreads choice. now this one is not capital just are uh, that you continue like that the fourth book 
you have to remember guys that this book keep on changing but for now i just want to show you exactly how you can add these titles so this one is also good so i'm not going to type them i'm, I'm lazy so i'll just uh, copy and paste okay paste it there going on there just like that then the 51 uh, let's see the fifth one oh, not the fifth one okay 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 oh they are here more results so so uh, this one others are good picks so it's also a good reads. Signal that one. And then the last one is editor speak. Editors speak. Yep, like that. You save that. Got an error here, it is a uh, words is not defined so to fix that you just come and instead of having it inside the data you can just uh, just take it cut it and paste it in the book so that uh, it can be able to be accessed like that and you save it once you go to the app you see we have the best sellers, we have the editor speak, the good reads choice, and we also have the the others. Okay. So that one, so the only now remaining task is to put them here. So that one can be done very easily using a CSS. Okay, so guys, it's time to do the CSS. So let me show you how we're going to have this word from here to here this is absolute so we have to make sure that the book uh, the book uh, component is in relative so uh, so I have my CSS here let me show you oh this is my book here so the first thing we are going to do here is to make sure that the position position is relative right and you save then we are going to create a let me first check what I I referred to the that spanners so it's called word so here so here we are going to go with word it word or words let me see it's word so uh -huh. so we say word so the first we are going to start with the position position is absolute because I told you I want it here so that one with absolute position it will be able to go there Absolute. Okay, then we have the top at zero. Top at zero, then we have left zero. Left is zero. Then we have with the padding at zero point padding at zero point seven five five frame. We have the font size. Font size will be one frame. I don't want it to be so big. Then I have the board the top.
put the top left go to top left radius that one will be one rem okay and uh, we have the border bottom border bottom right radius which will be one frame the next thing will be the background you cannot see it right now you cannot see it very well because the background is too close so let me and the background as gray yeah it was gray yeah. see this is the gray color and this one is different but let me first deal with them in general okay uh, I think they, they look bigger but so I need to change the color the color I need to change the color let me change the color so that is so that it's visible the color we use or they use the color white so let me use the white so I come here and change color as we let's use this one just like that guys you can see everything see it's coming it's coming guys it may not look exactly but i think we are getting somewhere here it's the challenge. the first challenge is done now we have to add the title here i want to add the title amazon best sellers here okay uh -huh. so to do that you come to your file And the title will be Amazon Best Seller. Yep, that's right. And then you have it. This is it. So, since I'm using grid or grid you will find uh, it's happening in each and every book and that's not what i want i want it to be independent of the article okay guys to solve this you see it's happening everywhere here 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 i don't want this i just want the title to be outside so i know the mistakes here so once you put those two fragments, this one and this one, it will be okay for you to and you'll have no errors. So let me save this and then we see this is it. So you can always uh, do the CSS to have it around the center or maybe have some padding around and that's still okay. So for now we have been able to do that to get this uh, title here for our app. Okay. And that's a line. Actually, I'll make this a H1. I remember I have H1. So it will be easy for me to style it. So I want to have a, you know, 
a bit of padding and margin so I'll um, go to my CSS here uh, you can put it in here but I which you put it just below everything here that will be h1 Okay, I'll put it here. And here, uh, I will say text the line. Text the line to center. Then I will go for margin top four. Will be four run. I will go for text transition. Text transition or transform as text transform and it will be capitalized. And once you save it, guys, boom. I don't know why the text transform did it. Text transform did it not show not capitalize we'll figure this out but i i think now i look much better our apps look better yep we're making steps it's actually good you see it capitalize each and every letter so that's why we used text transform to that so guys it's good so the next thing is guys is to go and change the title of the page of the site and it is normally here in public so you go to html and it's normally found somewhere here title react app and we change it to amazon best seller and this one is good so guys this is the end of uh, part one and part two of cloning the amazon bestseller section so this one is ready and keep tuned because I'll be doing a different challenges uh, regarding react so guys you can subscribe to my channel and we see how it goes I actually encourage most of Kenyan developers to especially those who like react uh, to uh, subscribe because we will be doing a lot of challenges here and there so this one is a good project you can put it on your pro uh, portfolio if you like uh, I will also provide the whole codes in my github so that you can be able to reference them if you in case you want to follow up and see how I did everything so thank you guys